This is Ty back with another video. Uh, today we want to talk about uh, going to talk about uh, this Tiafimo Lopez and the Devin Haney situation. Um, obviously, at the uh, Mikey Garcia fight on Saturday night, uh, De uh, Devin Haney came up uh, came up on a uh, <laughs> team of Tiafimo, you know, called him out, you know what I'm saying, and uh, was getting up in his face and everything. And uh, and then Tia Fimo decides to, you know, use the N word. You know what I'm saying towards Devin Haney. So, me personally, man, um, you know, I'm a black man, but I, I, me personally, I do not, uh, I don't use that word. You know, I don't use it around my friends. I don't use it around my family. I don't. I've never. I don't. I don't really use that word like that. I mean, I'll be honest. I did use it back when you know. I was in high school and stuff like that, you know, my ignorant days. But I, I do not use that word. So for me, to me, I, I found that word very offensive. Um, and I was kind of like, man, I, I thought that they, you know, Devin Haney or his dad was going to do something. You know what I'm saying? As soon as he said it. And he didn't say it not, you know, one time. He said it more than one time. And so um, now... You know, <laughs> so now it's just like, OK, we have to get to this point where now, OK, what are the sanctioning by like the WBC? What are they going to do as far as with this situation with Tia Fima Lopez saying this, 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 this word, this N word? And I'm curious to see what they're going to do, um, because I feel like it's not fair to, you know, mess around and the black fighters have to be the ones to have to apologize for their remarks but this dude right here Tiafimo can say what he wants to say and he doesn't get he can just get a pass for saying it so I, I think that 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 shouldn't be it shouldn't be stand for and I think that the same rules need to apply in this situation here um now I think that's what that's what needs to happen you know there needs to be some sort of Hey, you need to issue an apology saying what you said at the event that you was at. There needs to be something. Something needs to be done about this, man. And this is just the treatment that we get as black folks here in America. Uh, there's always going to be double standards when it comes to us. Always going to be double standards. You know, um, it's just we always get the short end of the stick each and every time. And I feel like this is the time where they need to do something about this situation with Tia Fimo Lopez, man, because he can't just be out here just saying stuff, man, the way he just saying it, saying the N-word, you know what I'm saying? I mean, people can agree to it, people can disagree to it. This is just my opinion, and this is just how I feel. I feel personally, man, they need to issue some sort of, he needs to be issuing some sort of apology or something of that matter. Because I feel like it's not fair that Devin Haney had to apologize for saying that he would he would never he would never let a white boy beat him. Why does he have to be issued an apology, but Tia Fimo can't do the same? And there's been plenty of other examples. So it's just like there has to be something done about this situation. And I feel like something has to be done. And they gotta step in there and they got they gotta the WBC needs to step up. Somebody needs to step up and do something and say, Hey, you know, this is not tolerated. And you need to issue an apology the same way they they treated Devin Haney, man. You know? But one thing I will say for sure is that this does make this fight a little bit more interesting now between Tia Fimo Lopez and Devin Haney. So if these guys can get past the fights that they have, um, hopefully we get this fight. Hopefully that this fight will get made. And hopefully, you know... We we really get this fight for undisputed, man. Um, 
so this just makes this fight even more intriguing now and then now this just makes it even more exciting if if these got if they get past their opponents that they fight uh Tia Fimo is supposed to fight George Cambosis I think in November and I think Devin Haney is going to be fighting well he 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 wants to fight Jojo Diaz but we're going to see what Jojo Diaz does whether or not he's going to take this fight or not so we'll see what's going to happen man but it definitely is going to make this fight even more interesting if these two guys can get past their opponents and then they're, they're the only two ones left. And then they, they go at it for Undisputed, man. I want to see it. I think everybody else wants to see it. And I can't see why not this why can't see why this fight cannot be made. So uh, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me at Southpaw Boxing 77. Again, like the video, like the doggone video, man. Like it and subscribe, subscribe, and then follow me at South pa South Paul Boxing seventy seven too. While you at it, this is Ty back with another video. Let me know and also comment below. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all think. Um, who do y'all got in that fight between Devin Haney and, and Tia Tiafimo Lopez? Again, like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me at Southpaw Boxing 77. This is TY. Peace.